Hey, he went through here. He blew this whole thing up. Louis has become even more problematic, and he does in all he does is nod or shake his head, and yet he consumes three times the amount of food that I do. Not cool, Louis. Not cool. Okay, now we have water, now we have to grow water. At least we should get one fruit done. Actually, there, we have plenty of fruit to go buy. So we could just also get that tangerine that's there, because I never came back for it. Oh yeah, this should be plenty of time to get Louie. Before we reach the final level, I'm gonna probably try to get all the fruit. I do kind of want the good ending for this one. No. Uh, you guys can take the craw map, and you can take the lime. We got one face down at least. I'm not sure if it'll continue for tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he's still up. The hell is that? Get up! Back away! <laughs> Come on! They can stay on it, right? Yeah, they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good. Oh, it's the Pikmin 2 ship. The one with the annoying spell, like Robot AI Salesman. We lost five in that whole battle. Not bad. I guess since we're here, we might as well see how many fruits we can try to collect everything. We have a lot of time. Food thief. <laughs> Being was in possession of 33 days of supply and one soft vin vinyl toy suitable for a toddler. A, a rubber duck is not a toddler toy. It is a very helpful item that can will gladly reduce your stress. It costs no more than like a dollar or two. Why do you need help, Brittany? You're fine. Yeah, we didn't have enough time. I believe we only have two more. Yeah, we only have two more fruits. This isn't Captain Alamar, but a fellow named Louie. There he is. All right. I am probably just gonna get all the fruit and then go to that. And that means I would have 100% of this game. We're gonna go deal with the bull bear. I'm taking that many because I guarantee you that's how many are gonna die towards that big, big black and red idiot. All right. Your simple job is literally just hold the gate while I find some way to kill this goon and his goonies. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing? Excuse me, what, are you, what the fuck do you think you're actually doing? Alright, let uh, be a disobedient- never mind, don't be a disobedient mutter. Wait a minute. Okay. Not gonna complain about that. Alright, let's get this over with. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, okay. oh. 
hold. It's a wrong, wrong thing to charge at. So we let Brittany command and command the Pikmin carrying Captain Alamar. The order of responsibility from commanding Pikmin is Brittany, Charlie, and then Alf. It's invincible when it's transparent. Rescue Pikmin who have been absorbed by calling them to the whistle. Where's Brittany? Okay, it's there. So once we cross here, we're gonna make her go around in a circle. Why, wow, out of all the things. Oh. It's it's Alamar who I'm afraid of. You kind of have to play like tag with it. It's Alamar still okay. Good, 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 good. I can go through there, but I would. Okay, once we clear everything here, we're just gonna make it do like loops around here. That's what I'm gonna do for now. I gotta gotta keep playing with her around here. Ah, no, 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 no! Stop going after it. Okay, we got that dealt with at least. Alright, good, 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 we have life now. Is it gonna eat? I can hear the. F I can hear the final trial in this. That's cute. We're gonna have to put her in circles here. What we're gonna make her do is go here in a loop. Once we're done with this, we'll immediately take her over out here. Because this appears to be the exit. <laughs> He's getting faster for some odd reason. Plasm Rafe, huh? Well, I've been told, just use rocks. Apparently he hates rocks. I can see why it's just so easy. He does nothing to them. Come on, boyos. Aw, oh, man, we're not gonna kill him. Uh, he should, should still have his health, right? Yeah. Good job, boys. Good job. You're doing it. You're doing it well. Ow. Ow, oh, piss off. 
Brittany, you're fine. There's our boy. And so the intrepid explorers successfully complete their mission. After securing a bountiful supply of edible matter and learning the valuable lessons of planning and teamwork, the explorers are set to become the saviors of their home planet. Under their guidance, the seeds they've recovered will be used to kick off a sustainable cycle of cultivation and harvesting, thus bringing new life to Kopai. However, one question remains. What was the cause of the accident that sent the SS Drake hurtling to PNF 404 surface? Perhaps it wasn't an accident after all. Oh man. Wow. That was a short game, but I mean the art is the, the the design also of this game is very pretty. I mean, for for when it came out of Wii, it was probably amazing. I think Pikmin 4 just beats it though in terms of graphics wise, <laughs> but it's still a very very pretty game. Uh, yeah, there you go. Pikmin 3 is now complete. Now I guess now I have to do this Olimar's little side quests, which I'll gladly do. I have no problem with that. Uh, thank you to everyone once again for watching whether you're just a fellow viewer just stopping by you know you're not forced to like or subscribe you can just watch for your own entertaining pleasure that's good enough for me thank you this game is uh this game was good although well i i chose hard mode but i didn't see the hard mode in it maybe that that new new difficulty is maybe harder i don't know if there's any difference really just Please tell me in the comments, see if it's like even worth trying to do it in that impossible, what is it, impossible mode or incredibly hard mode, very hard mode. Just tell me what's the difference. I'll decide whether I'm going to play it or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll see. But I mean, it's a fun game. You know, it's a game where you can just relax. It's not as traumatizing as 2. It has four aesthetics. I'd say it's a good it's a it's a good game. If you wanna start up Pikmin, I think three is a good good place to start. Ultra spicy difficulty is now unlocked for story mode. 
You can now fight the Plasm Wraith in the Defeat Bosses mission. Alomar's comeback is now unlocked in the side stories. Beat it in 8 hours and 31 minutes. 100%? Well, obviously, that didn't get all the notes, but I really don't consider that part 100%. At least, like, I got all the fruit, though. 46 died. <laughs> Reds. 30 rock deaths. 41 yellow deaths. 37 wing deaths. 185 in total. This is, I think, more than what Pikmin 4 had in total deaths. <laughs> And there you go. Pikmin 3 is done now. The game looked much longer. Uh, to me, I was kindly uh, astounded. Like, it took me 8 hours and 31 minutes to play this game. Pikmin 4 took me longer. I guess because there's more content in that game. I got nothing to say about it. To those of you wondering why I was not surprised by the Plasm Wraith, you know, not scared of it. Just because it looks like it's technically the Water Wraith's closest sibling to it. I've, I've, I've seen playthroughs, I've seen walkthroughs. I know exactly who the bosses were. I just, the only thing I didn't bother to remember was fruit locations. I'm not going to remember 66 positions of fruit and where they're located or where they're buried. I'm not going to remember all of that. Uh, yeah, again, I'm sorry. It's, I know there's not a lot of kooky, quirky editing I, I can put in this, but I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. Just get straight to the point. You know, it's a, it's a good game. Nothing wrong with it. It's a, it's a great starter if you want to come from 3 to 4, or if you're an old school person who played 1 and 2, it's decent enough to jump to. That being said, we are pretty much halfway through now the Pikmin series, which is, you know, great. I, I did say I am going to I am going to do 2 and 1, which I will, I will gladly finish, because I also have a friend who told me that I should finish it, and I really should. If there's one thing you need to know about me, I am notorious for all my life. I do a project. I don't finish it, and I just leave it incomplete. It can be 50%, 90% done, but then I don't complete it. And that's one thing I really want to fix about myself that I'm trying my hardest to do. Pikmin 2 will be a little longer, because that game is longer, and I'm pretty sure there is a fair portion of people who do want me to see me play that game. It'll get more attention and more love, there'll be more stuff to it. One I do believe is honestly... It's going to be just one video. One is, again, so short that it can be beaten probably in a day. And probably in like the span of four to three hours, if I'm if I'm that good with it. Two, I'm looking at mostly it being roughly four videos. Yeah, roughly around four videos. Uh, you know, that being the intro, uh, that also being... <laughs> the Submerged Castle will get its own episode. The Wistful Wild, which is its own like place, which is kind of which is the hardest place in the whole game, and then uh, Dream Den, which is the final level, which I mean makes it respectively four two two dungeon videos and then four and then two playthrough videos of the entire place, because that's that's the way I find it easier to edit, and also you know uh, make them you know presentable. Uh, to be fair, Pikmin. 2's intro will probably be a little longer than I'm mostly what used to posting. I know I know the Cavern for a King one was, I think, the longest because it's like almost sitting at... How long is Cavern for a King sitting at? I, I'm, I'm looking at this right now, as a matter of fact. Yeah, Cavern for a King sits at like 28 minutes. So Pikmin 2's intro may be roughly around that time or maybe longer. I do not know. Uh, Submerged Castle will be special. <laughs> Because, God almighty, I do not want to visit that place. And, and just for the record, I have not played Pikmin 2 in years. Plethora. I, I wasn't joking on that. I, I haven't played that game in years. Do I still remember the bosses? Yes, because they are PTSD-inducing. I still remember them to heart. I still remember the enemies. And the ball bear is there, which that is the that is the very any ask anyone who's played any Pikmin series, anyone will tell you that the ball bear from 2 is the worst variant there is. Motherfucker comes back to life like a zombie, and I hate it. It's obligatory to take him back. All right, enough Pikmin. I know it's super weird to say this, but we are at God Almighty, 2,851 subscribers. I'm currently recording this. Thank you. I have did not say thank you for a thousand or two thousand or two thousand five hundred because. 
2,500 is basically a quarter away from 10,000. Long way. Oh well. Uh, thank you. As weird as I sound saying it, there there will be a tiny, tiny Q&A. I know I really shouldn't because th these amount of subscribers really... There's not a lot to talk about. Uh, a Q&A video, which will be probably posted around hopefully next week or the week after that, give or take. It's also Halloween. I do have one Halloween video planned. Halloween video... Uh, spooky games and me just do not mix. One bit. We do not get along. As you can already tell, I get scared by basically a bubble. You can already imagine how bad I get scared of by playing a horror game. Uh, what game in mind? I have a couple in mind. Spooky's House of Jump Scares is actually one of them, which I know is probably the biggest pussy move you can do because it's not really that scary. But to me, I, 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 saw, I saw gameplay of it on Steam and like, okay, this game will probably make me shit myself. I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to do it. There will be a tiny Q&A probably around next week or the week after that. Uh, there'll be just a random game. October will have one spooky game in it as much as I don't want to. But I mean, I, I, it is October. I do have to put something in there while I am working on two. Two, I still have not played. Uh, it's going to be recorded and edited. Um, again, it's going to take longer than usual because I'm going to put more effort into it because it's a special place. To those of you all who subscribe, thank you. I read all your comments. I, I I like to react to your comments too. They're they're great. They're funny. They're original. I thank all of you who watch, who like. You don't have to subscribe. You, you may not be a subscriber. You may not have liked it. You may have just glimpsed it and just left. That's cool. You know, it's 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 what like makes me motivated to watch. As, as long as I just see a number, I kid you not, I I would see a number in my subscriber count. I check my subscriber count every day. I'm 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 a small YouTuber, but I can look at it every day. And if I just see it go up by one number, it just makes me happier and happier and happier by the day, which is you know great. And I do like that stuff. I will hopefully see you soon. If you have any questions, if you have any stupid, you can be stupid questions, questions about the video questions about the editing, questions about music. I do remember seeing a couple people actually post a couple like music questions that I have. Uh, sound effects is also another question I got. Uh, please go ahead, put it on. And I'm almost like I'll be answering it. I'll also be putting a post. If you want to respond to that section, I will put it there. It's up to you where you want to post it. It's uh, yeah, we'll see from there. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again soon.